So, yo boys, it's Pesky, and would you know, the Isle actually did something for once. So yeah, I, I know, I'm a dirty liar. I said I was gonna do a Path of Titans video, but um, this came out, and I mean, I'm like two days late as it is, so th this, this whole roadmap thing. By the way, I apologize if there's like an echo or anything. I don't know, let me know how the audio quality is, because I'm in my college apartment, and this is the first time I'm ever recording something in it. So, uh, yeah, if there's too much of an echo, just let me know. Anyway, oh my god, the Isle actually released its plans for development for once, and it was just a ping on Discord and Twitter, on the Isle's Twitter and things like that. And, um, yeah, so they have some plans. So, you know, because I have nothing better to cover, and, uh, you know, I'm a shill tuber who needs views, I'm just gonna rack in said views by explaining information that you can easily find on your own, but I need to provide it to you be because views. That's literally it. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on any more useless bullshit, let's just get right into the plan for the aisle. Now, um, one thing that's uh, a little bit of a letdown so far, um, if you can see it doesn't say month one or month two, it's like update one update 2, update 3, so on and so forth. The Isle seems to go by a bit of a different time scale than the rest of the world, so uh, who knows how long this could be, but hey, at least we got something. It's like Chinese water torture with this game. They give you a drop and it seems like it's a freaking monsoon, but whatever. So anyway, update number one, we have the grouping system. Um, Band together with friends or other players, blah, 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 blah. Y you can read. I don't have to read it for you. At least I shouldn't have to read it for you. Uh, let's see here. Utah Raptor AI. Uh, as the epitome of cunning and ferocity, able to swiftly maneuver at high speeds and pounce upon unsuspecting victims, Utah Raptor has certainly earned its fearsome reputation. Yeah, no, it hasn't. Uh, while all Utah Raptors are inherently dangerous, no, they are not. It's the ones that you don't see that are truly clever. Um... Yeah, there's no such thing as a clever Utah main. I will stand by that till the day I die. Anyway, Tenanto AI is up next. Um, you know, be beauty and grace to find the Tenantosaurus. I don't... I mean, th these herbivores prefer to live in peace. Dude, those things are bloodthirsty. One of the island's more adorable inhabitants. Well, hmm. It was adorable until they, uh, did that thing with its face. <laughs> Dude, why couldn't they just keep his face cute? <laughs> Literally, the rest of the model looks fine, just the face, it just... It just looks wrong! Also, uh, if you scroll down, they have little checkboxes telling you what's done and what isn't. So, um, yeah, that, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty handy. Like, thank god, this is all we've been asking for, literally. So yeah, update 1 doesn't seem like too much big or interesting is gonna be happening other than, like, you know, core essentials. So, um, yeah. Nothing big in update 1. Okay, obviously update 2 is the one I'm most excited for because, um, well. <laughs> so we've got the playable Carnotaurus, and I'm going to assume that you're a bunch of third graders and read this one for you. Because, you know, I, I, I want an excuse to talk about Carno. Stalk the Plains is the terrifying Carnotaurus, the absolute nightmare of every small critter, as this ravenous mouth on legs blitzes across the island. Whilst it lacks the maneuverability of the more nimble Utah Raptor, its insane speed and ability to knock others down more than makes up for it. Guys, the Carno hype train is real. I, I didn't even mean to make that joke. Carno hype train? He's literally a train now. I'm a comedy genius! Now be sure to look left and right before crossing the street. Wait, so is he a train or a bus? Because last I checked, trains don't drive on the street. Okay. And uh, if you look down here, he has absolutely zero animations completed, and now you're probably thinking, what the fuck? Carnotaurus is already in the aisle. But then, if you grow a couple brain cells, you can figure out Carno is getting brand new animations, and ooh, that will be a godsend. So yeah, basically, it'll be Primal Carnage Carno, I guess, but accurate. So, I see this as an absolute win. Anyway, I'm looking here, and it seems like they don't have Galley here, because I remember Don streamed one time, and he was talking about, like, the future roadmap, which is this. And they had Galley in Update 2, but I guess they replaced them with uh, Playable Hypsilophodon, which honestly, 
fine by me. It doesn't really matter. Hypsilophodon, always cool. I don't know how much I'm going to play it. I like the little guy. He's adorable. It also sports impressive jumping capabilities and speed to match. Ooh, so basically you're going to be like a little, like an annoying insect that just won't go away. When that's not enough to keep safe, the Hypsy can shoot out a stream of its acidic stomach contents, temporarily blinding its predators, allowing for an easy escape. Cover your eyes. Okay. Well, you know, I I'm glad it's not Dilophosaurus that's gonna spit, because th that concept's getting kind of old. I'm glad to see it on an herbivore and use this like a self-defense thing. That's actually really cool. I like that. Anyway, we've got Dryosaurus. Uh, yeah, we already uh, read this. It's the same thing as over on the AI side. Um, yeah, Dryo will be Dryo, I guess. Not too much special about him. And uh, yeah, he can still burrow, by the way, so he's not getting that removed. Uh, let's see, we've got Stegosaurus AI, which... Mm, I, I wish it was playable. I don't know why they're making it just AI. I don't really see the need for Stegosaurus AI either, because, like, it's not like a Utah could kill a, kill a Stego. It's not like Carno could either. I mean, why even bother with Stego right now anyway? I mean, I guess if it was playable, then it would just be too overpowered with the roster at the moment. But, I mean, uh, you know, the more I think about it, Carno's probably going to be overpowered. Because there's nothing that can really stand up to it. Although, I do remember hearing things about Stego getting downsized, and if that's true, that kind of sucks. Because, you know, I want my Jurassic Park Stego. I mean, the Isle has already ripped off Jurassic Park in the form of Utah Raptor and T-Rex. So, like, you may as well go the extra mile and, um, make... Lost World Stego, and not chicken out on the herbivore. Update number three, fishing mechanic. Let's see, um, I am actually gonna read this one. Uh, fishing can be broken up into two categories. Schooling fish, these fish swim together in small schools. They are startled by the presence of movement. Aquatic and semi-aquatic animals have a lower chance of disturbing them, and thus have an easier time getting within striking range. These are the fish juvenile and low-scale animals will primarily feed on. Attack into the school of fish in order to catch one. There is a percentage chance. The more suited an animal is for fishy, the higher- For fishy? The more suited the animal is for fishy, <laughs> the higher the chance. So it's like an RNG thing. And then there's elite fish. Ooh, the elite society of spinosaurids. These fish are large and do not school. They require pursuit to catch and are the prize for any creature capable of tackling them. These are the fish adult- 50% to 100% growth, large-scale animals will feed on. Smaller creatures do not stand much of a chance catching these behemoths. Something like a baby raptor or like a baby carno or something, they'll be able to catch like the little fish if they really needed to. Something like an adult Utah or an adult carno would have no chance catching the big ones if I'm getting that right. Don't mind that, that was that was, that was was an email. And uh, meanwhile, something like Suko would just have a pretty easy time catching one of these. So yeah, as it should be. I mean, I don't really want any um, fishing carnos. That would be pretty cursed. And uh, zero progress. So... <laughs> oh god, why is that a common theme? And yes, shut up with the comments. I know it's still update number three and we haven't even gotten to number one yet, but... I Listen, comedy's harder than it looks, okay? Now here's the one you've all been waiting for, the Dinosuchus, and uh, if any of you have watched Prehistoric Park, then you love this guy. I know I do. Probably not gonna play him too much, though. I'll play him, but... Oh man, there's gonna be so many try-hard Dinosuchus players, it's crazy. Like, wow, there's gonna be a lot of them. And they're all gonna get killed by Sukos or other Dinosuchus. Be sure to take the utmost care, else you may find yourself snatched up in the jaws of the terrifying Dinosuchus. Well, I'm not sure which developer typed this out, but I'm gonna start referring to them as Captain Obvious. Uh, Pteranodon's gonna be a thing, uh, Majestic, Fragile, Expected, uh, Easily Circumvent Most Threats, Expected, and Diet, Fish, and Scavenging. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty standard. Um, basically, I assume Pteranodon's really just gonna be spectator mode. Personally, probably not gonna play it a lot. Because, you know, I'm not a fan of spectator mode, I actually like to uh, play the game. But, hey, I mean, everyone wants flyers. Um, I personally don't see the hype behind it. But, hey, if Pteranodon's your guy, then he's your guy. So now we've got Bipiosaurus, which is basically Therizinosaurus, but baby. He enjoys the comfort of security of the water, where it can graze on aquatic flora and the occasional fauna. 
It uses massively clawed forelimbs to secure itself into the rocks and riverbeds during strong currents as it grazes and searches for small prey. Though swift and sure in the water, on land they are much less adept, but their impressive claws make them more than capable of putting up a fight for this small stature when they cannot find safety in the water. I mean, he's pretty small, so I can't imagine he can fight anything bigger than, like, a Troodon or a Velociraptor. I mean, maybe a Utah? Like, not kill it, but scare it, maybe? I don't know. I hope he ends up being good, because I like this guy. He's, he's pretty adorable. I don't know if I mentioned this, but these renders, like these, all these new renders of the models with the good lighting and the poses, they are sick. The, the, I don't know why the game itself doesn't have this lighting, because the game would look so good. Anyway, Sukumimus. Um, I know they were debating between Suko and Barry. I remember Dondi mentioning he wanted either Suko or Barry. And obviously they picked Suko, which I'm not complaining, I like Suko more anyway. Able to traverse the land and thrive in the shallows. So he's going to be more land-based, it seems, but still aquatic. That's actually really cool. So he won't be weak just because, haha, he eats fish. Large and powerful enough to deter most predators while lacking the speed and stamina necessary to hunt most land-based creatures. Okay, so he's basically a grizzly bear. Can we get a hell yeah in the comments for Suko? Also, like and subscribe if you think that Suko is cool. Smiley face. Update 3 seems like the most exciting one so far, just because, you know, it has a bunch of fan favorites. And we've got update number four, last but not least. Uh, actually, I'd say it is the least, because it has the least content. Well, then again, this one has the least interesting content. I'm dragging out a simple phrase. I don't know why I'm doing this. So basically, male and female dinosaurs can create nests now. Neat. And it's a perfect mechanic to introduce alongside the egg-snatching oviraptor, and now <laughs> Oviraptor, he is my guy. I love this man. I main him in Primal Carnage, and I'm sure as hell gonna main him here. Because, I mean, look at him. How could you not love that face? Um, yeah, you can bet your ass I'm gonna be playing as Oviraptor. Uh, how far is he through, anyway? Uh, no animations to be expected. Uh, he has his model, defaults, yeah, basic rig. You know, he just exists, that's pretty much it. Now, uh, I, I've never really been a fan of AI, just because the whole thing of this game has been interact with players, and I really don't know how to feel about Apex AI specifically. It's, it's coming anyway. A true force in nature, one of the island's largest and most intimidating inhabitants, I beg to differ, you've seen Rex players before, they're not very bright. The undisputed king, um, no, he is very disputed actually, Spinosaurus is better. Steer clear of this formidable opponent should you seek to survive. Uh, you know what, just out of spite, I'm going to confront it every single time I see it. Although one positive I do have to say about the T-Rex AI is that, since it's AI, all the Rex mains are going to be sad that they can't play as it. So I see this as an absolute win. Yes, I did reuse the same joke. So yeah, update 1, AI. Update 2, things start getting added. Update 3 is the, the pretty much the two flagships plus these lads. And then update 4, you know, more stuff. Update 5, we don't know. This was a waste of a video, but like I said, you need those views. So I thoroughly believe that this is the Isles' last chance to get it right. And I have faith that they can do it. I think they totally can pull it off. But will they? So yeah, I, I know I bash on the Isle a lot, but I really want to see the game do well. It's the one I've poured hours into, it's the reason my channel exists, so hopefully they get it right this time. And- <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> oh man, um, sneezing on camera is probably, um, not the smartest move for, uh, PR when it comes to this whole, uh, coronavirus thing, but whatever. So yeah, good to see that the Isle's finally, uh, showing us what they're doing, or showing us their plans, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all in the next one.